you know that you're gonna be Mrs. Black Hammer. Did you tell my brother? I'm out of prison! I need him to be on board. You two are the most important men in my life. What you just said has been received. Why do I have to suck up to the brother just because she wants us to get along? It's that little clown that's dating my sister, little man Smurf. Maybe he just wants into the fam. I know exactly what he wants. You want the hammer? I want the hammer. Then go get the hammer. Okay, enough of that nasty. <laughs> Baby, no, 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 no. James, I wanted your blessing in asking your sister to marry me. Show me that you're worthy of her. How am I supposed to do that? I'm gonna take you on a ride along. Kevin, welcome to Australia, man. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, give us a bit of a rundown ride along in your character. Okay, well, I play a guy named Ben. And basically, I, I love three things. I love video games, I love my lady, and I love the thought of becoming a cop. Um, you know, right now, I'm really putting everything I have into pursuing that particular career, but I have roadblocks that are preventing me from achieving it. Um, I want to get married to my girlfriend, and my girlfriend's brother, James, who's played by Ice Cube, my co-star in the movie, um, he doesn't see his sister with me. James is also a cop, and being a James is a cop, and me being accepted into the academy, I want his approval. Um, James not only doesn't want to give me his approval, but really doesn't want anything to do with me. So, realizing that I want his sister's hand in marriage, he decides to take it upon himself to try to scare me out of being around him in general, and being in his life, and his sister's life, and being in a cop. He decides to take me on a ride along, and sets up a bunch of fake foolishness, um, to kind of just get me out of wanting to pursue my dream. In doing so, I figure out that it's fake and find myself involved in what seems to be real police work. And in doing so, I end up helping him in what he is trying to achieve, which is taking down one of the biggest drug dealers in Atlanta. Mm. Uh, but our road to getting there and the journey that we take to do it is is very unique, you know? Um, it's action buddy comedy, and when you think about action buddy comedies, you think about Lethal Weapon, you think about Rush Hour, you think about Bad Boys, you think about uh, Beverly Hills Cop, 48 Hours. And The Void has been kind of unfulfilled for so long, mm. you know, since those movies and the success that they had. So we, we had the opportunity to do it and do it in a unique way, and I think we did. I think yeah. we achieved it. What I love about Ride Along that is, you know, it does have buddy cop elements, mm -hmm. but the two characters, they're, they aren't buddies. Ice Cube hates you. Yeah, hates my guts. Is he as intimidating off screen as he is on? You know what? No. I mean, not to me because I know him, but, you know, to the to the average person, I can see why they would think so because mm. he doesn't smile. Yeah. Uh, he's just not a smiler. Like, he's actually happy inside, but he just <laughs> doesn't show it because he doesn't smile. I actually um, saw Ice Cube smile one time, and I heard a person say, I didn't know you had teeth. <laughs> uh, and that's definitely a sign of someone who just doesn't smile. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, you know what? You can't, you can't deny this guy's um, his workload and his work ethic. I mean, he's done so much from producing to writing to directing to acting. So, mm. you know, uh, for me to be involved with him and having the opportunity to work with him, I jumped at it, and our yeah. chemistry on set was amazing. Yeah. And obviously yourself, Ice Cube, some other big talented names like Lawrence Fishburne. Yes, John Lawrence 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 Fishburne. Yeah. Was his voice ominous as you walked on set? Oh, man, you know, it, it was hard to look at him without thinking about Morpheus mm. just because, <laughs> I mean, I'm such a fan of The Matrix. I'm just such a fan of Lawrence Fishburne anyway. Yeah. But the fact that, you know... I got the opportunity to say in my career I've worked with a legend yeah. like Lawrence Fishburne is huge. I mean, he's done so much. Mm. He's achieved so much. And uh, we were lucky to get him. We were lucky to have him be a part of this movie. And the movie is as action-packed as it is funny. Yes. Did you do all your own stunts? Uh, I wish I could lie to you and say I did, <laughs> but no. No, I did not. Reason being, uh, I tried to do one, and I didn't really get hurt, but I saw the glimpses of me getting hurt. <laughs> like, I, I foreshadowed seeing me getting hurt. Yeah. I said, uh, y'all can bring in the stunt guy for this. I'm not going to do these no more. Um, but I did all my harness work, yeah. them pulling me up in harnesses and slinging me back and forth. I did all that stuff. But as far as getting smashed into the uh, you know, the TV, the bookshelves, the mm. cars and all stuff, I didn't do that. And, and your character in the film, he's basically putting his life on the line for the sake of impressing his girlfriend's brother. Yeah. Have you yourself ever been in a position where you've had to jump through hoops to impress someone? Um, you know what? I mean, I probably have jumped through hoops without noticing that I was jumping through hoops. Mm. I mean, I think as a man, when you meet a female that you're interested in or that you like, you know, it's your it's your natural instinct to to try to impress that female, to try to jump above and beyond to get her attention. And once you have her attention, it's your job to keep it. Mm. So, you know, as men, we do stupid stuff. So, yeah. yes, of course, I've done stupid stuff. I remember a girl got in my car 
And when she got in the car, I just started driving real fast. Because yeah. I thought girls like guys that drive <laughs> fast. I just remember her going, stop, you're going to kill us. Stop. Ah, let me out. I, ain't, I don't want to be in here no more. So that date ended fast. But that was my attempt to impress a female. Yeah. And you've got right along a couple more features coming out this mm -hmm. year and next. You've got The Real Husbands of Hollywood on yes. TV. You've established yourself as one of the biggest stand-up acts today. Thank you. Do you have a favorite out of the three or one that you prefer doing? I'm a stand-up comedian. Yeah. Uh, before anything else, I'm always going to be a stand-up comedian. I'm never going to stray away from that. You know, um, I'm able to do movies and, and do them at the magnitude that I'm doing them because of stand-up comedy. So uh, constantly going back to that and constantly uh, reinventing myself and constantly giving my fan base something to laugh at is, uh, is something that I take serious. It's, mm. it's a job that I've taken, and I don't see myself stepping down anytime yeah. soon. And we take those three mediums together, working with people like Fishburne and Ice Cube mm -hmm. and De Niro, Stallone, even Robin Thicke and Nelly yeah, on TV. Yeah, yeah. Is there anyone that you would love to work with? You know what, man? I mean, I don't work with some people, man. Um, you know, probably one of the most talented guys I did work with, uh, I was so sad to see him pass away, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Mm. This was years ago in my young career um, when I did Along Came Polly. Um, you know, that that that's definitely somebody I would have loved the opportunity to do something with at this point in my career. Yeah. Um, it was sad to see him go. Um, so many. I mean, Denzel. Would love to work with Denzel. Mark Wahlberg. Mm -hmm. uh Jonah Hill, uh, Seth Rogen. I mean, my list goes on and on, man. I, a lot of my, my friends and peers are, are doing great things in the business, so you like to be a part of those things. Mm. So uh, it's just figuring out what the projects are for us to kind of go yeah. back and forth with. Here's hoping, man. But before we head off, uh, we know the, the sequel to Ride Along has been greenlit. Mm -hmm. Filming starts mid-year. Are there any spoilers, any hints about what this one's going to be about? Um, no, the script should actually be coming in soon. We're supposed to start filming in July, actually. Late June, early July. So uh, I'm excited to see the script. I know the direction that they want to take it in, but, you know, I don't like to, to jinx anything until I actually see the material right now. So Kevin. we're waiting. Thanks so much, man. Welcome to Australia again, and Thank congratulations. You. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. You wouldn't last one day out here. I'm the law. Be afraid. This is crazy. Relax. You got five seconds to throw it back. This ain't no damn video game. You tell me what I need to know, or you going to jail with a bullet wound. I ain't telling you nothing. Tell me what I need to know. Tell me what I need to know. Yeah, he shot your ass. You damn right I shot your uh -huh. ass.